We are going to create a quadrilateral today. Um, the particular method that we're going to use comes from an article by Wayne Nyrode that appeared in the Mathematics Teacher called Creating Quadrilaterals from Quadrilaterals. And we're going to apply rule number two from that article to this parallelogram that I've created here. Um, I will include information in the section below about the article. I have previously constructed a dynamic parallelogram. There's also a video explaining how to do that, which I'll include a link to in the information below as well. So the article tells us first to, for rule two, to create the diagonals of the, the quadrilateral. So I'll go ahead and grab my segment tool and create diagonals AC and BD. It then says um, in, the, in the rule, the point of intersection of the diagonals divides each diagonal into two parts. So we can talk about them a little more easily. I'm going to go ahead and label that point of intersection. So let me grab my intersection tool and uh, label these or grab these two diagonals. You can see that intersection point gets labeled as point E. So what uh, Mr. Nyrod is talking about here is that we now have segments AE, EC, BE, and ED. And the next step is to find the midpoints of each of those segments, and then we will connect those to form our new quadrilateral. So let me come up here and grab my midpoint tool. It does tell us if we kind of hover over this that we can either select two points or a segment. Circle and conic are not relevant in this case. So I haven't actually created the segment between A and E. If I hover over this, you can see it highlights the whole line, the whole diagonal AC. So I'll go with the two-point option and select point A and E. You can see that that generates the midpoint of that segment, point F. Similarly, do the same thing with B, E, C, E, and D, E. So we now have our new points, the midpoints of each of the, the segments, F, G, H, and I. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my polygon tool and connect those points, F, G, H, I. And I'll come back to F. And that gives us our polygon, um, our quadrilateral that was created from the original quadrilateral. Just to kind of make it a little easier to see, we can, can highlight polygon 2 and change the color. Go ahead and make that green. Um, and then I can also increase the, the darkness of it there so it's easier to see. And then that'll allow us to kind of look at how, since we constructed F, G, H, I based off of A, B, C, D, if I try and move points within the inner parallelogram, the inner quadrilateral there, it doesn't do anything. But if I try to move my outside ones, the inside one moves with it. 